Hello again, this is Matthew from Matthew North Music. Thank you for watching my latest video. If you like these videos, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be informed of the next videos. Um, every like and follow that I get really helps the channel because I need to hit the magic 1000 and then more people will get to see this. Well, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a repair job. Um, it's only a minor repair, but it's something that I believe has probably happened to most people that own these amplifiers. This is a Technics SC8900S power amp with its corresponding preamp. And this was my father's amplifier originally, of which he bought it in the mid 90s. And it's worked perfectly ever since. It's a fantastic piece of kit. Now, as you probably have noticed, it looks a little bit flat. And the reason it looks flat is because there's no lights lighting up the VU meters. So what I have done is I've ordered some bulbs to replace it, and I'm gonna take the power amp section apart, and we're gonna have a look inside. I'll probably give it a little bit of a dust up if it needs it as well. And then we'll put the new lights in and hopefully it will be back to its former glory. Now you may be wondering why you can see the meters moving but not actually hear any sound. Well I've muted the speakers because if you could hear what I was playing then that would cause a copyright strike and that's not good for a YouTube video. However just for your own interest I'm actually playing this. This is the March Violet's Big Soul Kiss BBC Recordings Record Store Day album. And this has all the sessions that the March Violets did for the BBC and uh, lots of nice pictures there. And uh, a great track listing on the back as well. If you're a fan of uh, gothic rock of the 80s and 90s, but mostly in the 80s, of course, because this was recorded in the 80s, this album is absolutely brilliant. And I actually think some of the performances on it are actually better than the, the records that were released at the time. So real thumbs up for that, great record. Right then, I've got the amp on my desk or my fold up table. I have got my trusty tray that normally would live in a fridge but is actually very handy for putting screws and bits and bobs in and here's my latest ebay order and uh, inside here i've got the bulbs now when i ordered this bulb kit there were 10 bulbs in the pack and i assumed that there'd be a couple that i could use and the rest would make spares as it turns out you actually need all 10 bulbs and i'll show you why in a moment There we see the inside of a very dusty looking amp. Actually not that dusty, there's a, a little bit of dust. I'll give that a quick spray with the air duster in a minute. Uh, what I need to do is to take this out and then everything should, uh, should appear clear. So uh, I'll take it out first, I think. Then this should slide out. And under here is our lighting array. And what we effectively have is there's two PCBs, and I don't know if you can quite see, but under the PCBs, these are all the individual bulbs. Now, some of these may work, some of these may not. Um, in fact, if I get my voltmeter, which I've got here, I might just do a quick continuity test because I wouldn't be surprised if some of the bulbs worked and some of them don't. However, what I will do is I am going to replace them all because they're all going to be of different ages. So that one's okay. That one's okay. That one's de that one's okay. That one's dead. That one's okay. So there's one dead bulb there. And on the other side, dead. Dead. Oh. Dead. Alive. Dead. Alive. So, so yeah, so what I will do is I will take these PCBs out. I will then desolder all the bulbs and solder some new ones in. Okay, first things first then, I shall take these uh, screws out here. Okay, so that's basically what we have. And I think this board, these boards actually do disconnect. I think there's, a, there's a, that's like a little plug or a socket or something. Or maybe not, oh, I'm gonna leave that anyway. So there we have our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 bulbs. 
and in this little packet here we've got the the 10 replacement bulbs so i'm just going to wait for my iron to heat up and i will take out all the bulbs i will put them all to one side because the ones that i know that are good i will keep as spares um, because it, i did spend 20 pounds on that set of bulbs that i bought off ebay but you know i think it's worth it because it's such a gorgeous looking amp it should always be kept to uh, to tip top quality i feel we now have a board with all the bulbs now removed and we have our new bulbs here um, all 10 of them and uh, as you can see they're very delicate they're uh, just a very thin piece of glass with some thin wire so you've got to be quite careful when you thread them into the pcb however i think i've done it pretty much okay and so yeah the first bulb's gone in there like so and then I will solder it in place so I'll do the rest like that they actually go in pretty easily which is good I guess it was just the pure design of it that they, they all ran in the series. However, if they'd worked out a parallel system, if they'd worked out a parallel system, then of course, if a bulb goes, the others still stay alight. But I suppose if one bulb has gone, then the whole lot goes out, and you know, you've got a problem. However, it's good to know that uh, I've got some spares. So <clears throat> if uh, this happens again, which it probably will do, because I think the first lamp went out um, within three or four years, then I can replace whichever bulb has gone with one of the old ones. And then when they all eventually go, then uh, I'll buy some more. But as I said, you know, they were 20 pounds for the set of 10. So, you know, it's not a cheap thing to do, but I suppose, you know, we are talking about a premier premium amplifier which um so i suppose 20 pounds actually is not a lot at all and it's just nice i mean the the person i bought these bulbs from actually on ebay they uh, i ordered them yesterday afternoon while i was thinking about it and they arrived this morning so you know absolute first class service and they were the, they were the only people i could find on ebay selling them from the uk so if you go onto ebay and find a uk seller with these bulbs then I think you'll probably buy them from the same person that I did, especially if they were £20, including delivery. Okay, a bit of solder, hot stick. Let's uh, solder these in place. Okay, that's them all soldered in. So all I've got to do now is get a pair of snippers. And I can just take a take out all the excess. There we have a complete strip of light bulbs fitted to the PCB. I still have the old ones here. I'll go through them in a minute with the continuity tester and keep the good ones and I'll keep them as spares. And we'll pop this back into the amplifier and then we'll plug it in and switch it on and hopefully we should work. For something that's 26, 27 years old, it has to be said, there's not a lot of dust in this at all, and, and the amp looks very clean. I mean, it, it looks looks like it was new, to be honest. Um, I can't see there's any problems visually that I can see. At some point, there will need to be some work done. Obviously, things like capacitors will need replacing. However, the amp is absolutely spot on and as perfect as it can be, so... Unless we start, it starts humming or whatever, I don't think anything needs changing. They're going to keep this exactly as it is. Pop the panel in place. Before I plug the power in, I'm going to get my voltmeter. And I will just do a little continuity test, which I should have done really um, before I put the board back in. But I'm just going to do a continuity test on the input. Yep, 
yeah. Yep, that's bounced good. So that means that there is uh, a circuit with all the bulbs in place, which is good because that means then that it all works. I actually think the two sets of bulbs, they are actually in series because there's five bulbs and they are eight volts each and it's 40 volts AC that comes in here. So that gives you 40 volts there and then they're paralleled with the other five bulbs. And that's how you know, because if one set of lights goes out and the other stays on, it's because they're both in a sort of like a series parallel thing. Anyhow, I'm gonna pop the lid back on and then I will see you over at the Hi-Fi system and we will do the great switch on. Here we are then, and the Hi-Fi is all back together. Let's see if it works. Yeah, there you go. It's all lighting up now and uh, yeah, it looks great. I think I'll put a record on now just to test it. And uh, what have I got here? How about this? If you haven't seen one of these, this is my 10 inch vinyl that I released a couple of years ago. It's called Ever After Evermore. It's a 10 inch single and it's got two tracks. It features Emily Dolan Davis on drums. And I think it's, it's a rather nice looking product. And uh, anyway, I'm just gonna put a little bit on so you can have a little listen. <laughs> 